Hi everybody and welcome to my Aussie Urban Veggie Garden. Now over here, this is my common sage plant. It's not going too bad, it's not growing great, but it has grown a couple of new leaves in the centre. My chives are growing back up after they died down in the, in the winter a bit. Today is the last day of the Australian winter. This is my lemon thyme, it's going pretty well. This is the rest of the chives. They're also growing back after winter, very good. And this is my Greek oregano, which is a stronger oregano than the oregano you get usually. Um, this is the one they use on pizzas and in the cooking. The other oregano is really marjoram, it's not as strong. So if you're going for oregano and you want that traditional strong taste, make sure it says Greek oregano, okay? When you buy the plant otherwise it's just a weak like marjoram type plant it's not it's not what you're after look at my spring onions look at them they don't get a papery bottom they're the ones with the white white tuber the straight flat white tuber these are going to go to flower soon so i'm going to have to use them i've got one lonely pars parsnip left over there and I'm going to plant probably my uh, French escalions, also known as they're also known as um, banana, banana shallots, I think they're called. But I'll plant. I've got to plant those in those. And Herbie's here playing in the garden. Hey, Herbie. He said, "Hey." And look, the lettuce. The lettuce is getting big enough to eat. I'm going to have to eat some of that. I might pick some of that today. The um, extra garlic, the rose de voix, the French garlic. You have got the five lots there actually that one's doing all right oh hang on no that one fell over so i'm not sure if that's going to be all right i believe that is oh i just broke it i just broke it poor little thing i believe that's just, that's cos lettuce i thought it might be spinach but no that's lettuce this is lettuce as well you get iceberg lettuce that's lettuce anyway butter lettuce i think and this is the strawberry garden i believe there is 16 strawberry plants in there and today I want to plant these French escalions, or also they are known as banana shallots. So if there's five of these, and they are a milder form of the normal brown onion. So if you're not too keen on strong onions, try these. Like I said, they're called French escalions, or they're also known as banana shallots. Now, these are um, easier to, to, to cut as well because of their shape. You plant these just like you plant garlic and these probably should have went in at the same time as my garlic but I didn't order them until recently and then I had a delay in the order getting to me. So I'm going to plant these, sorry that the footage is sideways on this, I didn't realise when I was filming that this was going to be sideways, but I'm going to plant these at the back of the spring onions. So escalions are going to grow taller than the spring onions and they take about three or four months to grow. So they should probably come out around the same time as my garlic and maybe even my potatoes. So you plant them like garlic. They have a flat end and they also have a pointy end just like garlic. And just like garlic, you put them flat bit down and you only cover them up to the top of the pointy bit. Don't go putting them deep or anything like that. And they are sort of like a bunching onion in the way of you put one of these um, in, one of these bulbs in, and it'll get, they say, between five and six more bulbs will grow around it. So one will turn into five or six. I've heard people say up to 10 or 12, but I'm just going off what the packet says. So I've got five of these, so about 30, hey, that's plenty, you know. And then, of course, you can save some of when, the, when you harvest them, you can save some for the next year's crop again. So I'll just plant these. I'll fasten this up. I'll put some little music to it. Okay. So now that I've planted the French escalions or banana shallots, 
I'm looking through my seed box and this is a box I bought from Kmart um, several years ago and uh, it is a first aid box it came empty and most importantly to me it didn't have anything written on it so there's a tray in the top so where you can stash your little seeds that you want to grow soonest and there's a couple of little segments in there where you can put things and in this side I've got some containers where I've put some seeds I've harvested from my own plants and also in these big containers are broad beans and peas that have just come out of their paper packets because they're so old. Um, some hollyhock seeds that I harvested, I bought um, some a mixed hollyhocks in a punnet one year and I end up being all just coral pink and so I harvested those. Um, there's my flat leaf parsley I got seeds from and there also that is also the parsley seed that I'm growing in my pot so it's still viable it was harvested in 2016. The other little packet um, I'm not sure what they are whether they were mint or whether they were um, sweet basil but I want to try and grow the sweet basil that's in a pack. Alrighty so I'm going to try these old sweet basil seeds see if they're viable. So here's the seeds. I hope you can see them there because the camera can see it there. It's a very when you when you're um filming, it's very dark. Alright, so I'm just gonna put them all in, see what happens. Alright, shaky shake. See if they grow. If they grow, fantastic. I'm gonna be inundated with the sweet basil. But if they don't, then that's fine, I'll try something else. So we'll see what happens so happy with the parsley oh, there's a weed better get that out so now i'm going to plant some of those heirloom tomatoes i'm using this soil out of this bed because it is the least richest soil so it's good for trying to germinate some seeds so i picked out seven heirloom tomatoes that i would like to grow this year and i end up planting away too many in this little um, mini greenhouse tray but then I will be guaranteed, hopefully, to actually get some uh, alien tomatoes because if I plant enough, surely I'll have enough to put in my garden. I only want about seven. I'm going to put one in the centre of each garden. So I probably should have used seed raising mix, but like I said, I don't have any soil at the moment. We are still on lockdown um, and I can get it, but I just haven't been able to get any at the moment. So I'll show you the seeds, shall I? We have, these are all the Seed Freak brands. Tomato pink bumblebee, and that's a little cherry tomato, and it's got like a little light yellow stripe, so it's sort of pinky red. This is tomato wild card blue again. This is a beautiful blue shouldered, a, be a beautiful blue shouldered medium sized tomato with a red belly. So it's a US, a new US brand. So what I mean when they give you a free free one, they put a piece of paper in there in a mystery pack, and then they put the little Santorini tomatoes. So it says a Greek heirloom tomato with a strong tomato flavor, a prolific producer of ribbed, flattened, bright red fruits like, like small pumpkins, and they've got many seeds in them. This is good for sourcing and eating as well. This is, I'm not sure how to pronounce some of these, so yeah, tomato ojoika. That's a Russian one. It's the fruit of this Russian heirloom, a glowing lemon yellow, round, flat large fruits they're smooth and attractive with fat, flavorful flesh that has a citrusy taste yet sweet a uh, sweet and yet rich pink bumblebee said sweet flavor red with golden orange stripes okay orange yellow, yellow, yellow. vicious vines high vicious vicious vigorous vines high yield over a long season tolerates cool nights crack resistant indeterminate climber so that's a big climb one okay tomato Risetto mate, the traveler tomato. This is very interesting. If you look up um, this name, you will see that it's a red tomato and it grows like little blobs all stuck together. It's almost like a teardroppy tomato and they're all in like a cluster stuck together. So it's like many little tomatoes connected into one. It's not separate tomatoes, it's just, it's like it's got segments like an orange, but you, you'll have a look. It's very interesting. But the reason why, so this is like, you know, in the medieval days, they'd walk along and they'd just peel a bit of peel a bit of tomato off, and it wouldn't get all squishy in their pockets. It's very, very good. So this is a bizarre tomato. It's a bunch of tomato bubbles that can be torn off and eaten without exposing the rest of the tomato. Hence, it's a good tomato for snacking on whilst travelling. A tangy flavour. Okay, so this is the tomato prosperity. Medium round red fruits grown on a vine, which is a climber. The fruits grown in clusters 
and a great, great flavor. Excellent and salad all preserved. Tomato mint julep. This is a, a pear shaped, a, a, a mini tomato shaped like a pear. And it's um, like a green green tomato and it's got like a light, lighter green stripe. It says tomato mint julep, also known as wild boar mint julep and Michael pollen. A pear shaped streaked fruit with refreshing flavor. Pick or eat when the tomato yellows the tomato yellows between the green streaks. So you know it's ripe when it gets a little bit yellowish in between, but it's really a green tomato. So it's about seven tomatoes, I think that is. And yeah, I'm gonna put these in the container now. Let's grow them, hey? Let's grow them. All right, so I pulled this container up on my seat here and I was going to write some tags, but you know what? Most of them are going to be self-explanatory. When you look at them, you'll know what they are. And well, these two packets are now mixed up together because they flew off and I don't know which is which. So I'm just going to them. So here we go. Okay, so we're back again. I've now filled up this cell tray. Mostly the heirloom tomatoes, but I also put in a couple of crystal apple cucumbers, which are those, okay? And I put in, I put in some watermelon and I put in some golden nugget pumpkins and I put in some, uh, some heirloom they're all heirloom I believe um, and I put in a mixed zucchini lot that I put in four seeds I don't know what they're going to be they said there's yellow zucchini green zucchini and white zucchini in the pack um, I put in some capsicum I think they're called gambino capsicum a little flat pumpkin shaped one so yeah so we'll see what comes I also put in the um, Amsterdam celery which is like a thin stronger celery that you don't need to blanch and you know you don't need to try and keep it certain colour and all that, it just grows a little thin. It's a Chinese celery. So here we've got the Alaska variegated nasturtiums. These are a peppery taste and you can eat every part of it. So these are getting a bit long and I'm just worried they're going to die without me planting them. So I'm just going to pop one out and put it over here. So I'll just do that. Nasturtium Alaska plants just so they won't die in their tray. So I'll put a few in each in each garden. So very good, and hope you will sign up. Oh, and I don't know if I showed you a lot, I think I did. But, here is the snow peas tied up more. And where the sand is over there, that is where I put the sweet basil seeds. So very good. All right, see you, Gruff. He said, see ya. <laughs> And maybe to sign off, and I'll post this video up tonight.
tonight. See, I put some, there's even one in there and I'll ask the next version of one in there. And I'll just dig them out when I have something because I, I haven't got any dirt yet. I had to buy a new garden trolley. I'll show you that in the next video because the other one's rusted out because I left it out in the weather too long. But the garden's going lovely. It's a beautiful day. Not really a cloud in the sky. Well, yeah, a little bit. It's a lovely, lovely day. You can hear the airplanes going over. And here I'm back here. This is two days later from the original part of the video. So this is the second day of spring, third day of spring, something like that. It's um, it's Thursday today. <laughs> and we're ahead of the rest of the, you know, we're ahead, being in the Southern Hemisphere, we're ahead of you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. So you're still being Wednesday. All right, so what, what I want to show you was a little excited before we turn. I was looking at the snow peas, I was like, la la la, and then oh, it's actually a snow pea. How cool is that? Looking lovely. Oh, yummy, yummy. First snow pea for 2021. I was thinking, oh, yeah, you know, they're going to come soon, but it's already come. Look at that. It's already coming out. How cool. So, yummy. So, it's going to rain heavily tomorrow and the next day, Friday and Saturday. So, I want to do a little bit of harvest. I'm not going to harvest that, that'll grow more. I'm going to do a little bit of harvest. I thought that was a pea then, that's a stem. Oh. Hey Gruff, he said, hey, I'm going to do a little bit of harvest um, of the salad leaves. So let's go up here. And then after it, I, I want to get some sea, I want to sea salt them, the seaweed solution. Um, I want to sea salt them. But look how big they're getting. Hey Herbie, he said, hey. Look how big they're getting, and I think maybe the rain might try and flatten them a bit. They might make them all nice and more green, but I think I will harvest some now, some of the leaves now, and then hopefully they'll heal over by the time it starts raining tomorrow. So here we've got the scissors. I clean them with hand sanitizer, and I'm just going to snip off some leaves, and I'm going to have that with my my hamburgers tonight. So let's have a look. What we want to do is get the older, older leaf. I'm going to do it with my hands. What are we going to do with my hands? This one. There we go. Just squeeze the centre stalk there. There we go. What a beautiful leaf. All right. So get some salad leaves going. This nice one here. Thumbnail through it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That'll be nice for salad tonight. I mean, just one harvest like this is going to refund you on the pallet of seedlings. I mean, it was four dollars for the seedlings. I mean, four dollars is a reasonable to pay for a salad. So, the money back for this. Not that I, you know, not that I'm going to say that I've, you know, got a lot of money back. From the garden, I think I'm. Um, um, I've paid a thousand dollars in this garden this year. Um, yeah. Should we take that one. I'll take this one. Yeah. So I mean, but it'll start paying me back in food, and it's a, it's a, it's like any other hobby. Hobbies can be expensive or cheap, or depends how far you get into them. And um, look at this isn't it lovely? Beautiful. So that's just the butter, butter lettuce. Just put it on the ground here. So yeah, um, as I grow things, it will um, look more profitable. Just get this one down here. So the reason why we don't pull it all out of the ground is because that's just one harvest and that's it. You know, you've got what leaves are on there and that's it. There's no more plant. But if I take off a leaf here and there, the outer leaves, the older leaves. Then new ones grow from the center, of course. And you'll have the plant for a few months until it gets hot and it decides to bolt. And once it bolts, which basically means it, it goes really fast seed to, to seed. It goes a seed stalk and then it grows flowers. And you can use those seeds to grow more lettuce. But um, yeah, 
So basically, they want to just harvest the whole plant and then that's it for the year for that lettuce plant. Just take a bit off and it's a continuous supply of free lettuce. So, I got these in a punnet as seedlings from Big W and um, that's why you might be wondering how can she have such mature lettuce and it's only the start of spring. Look at this. Lettuce is so light to flow it away. Gee, I got it in a punnet and I didn't separate them all. So that's why there's a couple of colours and different types in each hole. So this is Coles lettuce, I believe. It's the tall, harder one. I need a basket or something. Oh, I might actually take yeah, because you don't want it flattening down and getting on the dirt because it's just not not good for the plant. Okay, so I'll just take some of these cos cos leaf. You might think, why is she grabbing some of the leaves and they're not the outer ones? Well, the inner ones will be, the inner ones are sweeter, but you get them before they go too big and too bitter. But the reason is because the one, some of the ones I'm picking have a little bit of damage on them, like there's a little bit of insect damage on there a bit. So that's what's happening. Um, yeah. How do you flow it? Oh, that's a lot of lettuce, so that's probably enough. But I just wanted to get some off before before it rains. So yeah. So that's plenty. Very good. So there's still a lot left. There's a lot of there's a lot of salad leaves there, so that's more than one meal of salad. So if you want to see it in dollars and cents, I'm in profit already with the seedlings. Oh, there's one of my leaves I'm trying to fly away. It's a little bit breezy for so today, just a little bit. There we go. It gets washed anyway. Okay, and I might take some spring onions. So I'll just cut some uh, I could pull one out do, 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 do. I just don't want them I don't want them going to see them wasting them so you know I might pull one out or should I just cut some of these these bigger bits and use those I might do that okay so I'm just gonna cut them and just lay them down this one I might take the whole lot actually I don't, take the whole, I don't want to take the whole thing out. Oh, if I twist it, maybe it'll come out from there. Oh, look. There you go. I twisted it. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's nice. Yeah. All right. I'll just take a couple of these long leaves that are falling over. That one's obviously broken. <sighs> take that. Just tidy up a bit. And I can eat that tonight and tomorrow. Unless it's really wet out here. <laughs> Just like that. Oh. Yeah. Very good. Be a lot, but I'll, I'll, I might put them in the pan with my burger or something, you know. Yeah, just tidy up because like I said it's gonna rain and it's heavy. look at this it's already fallen over and broken look at that this one here already snapped and broken so I'll take that that's a nice thick one that is 
All right, so I think that's okay for now. Yes, they're very nice. Get a carrot or something. <laughs> I think they're small, so I'm just going to leave the carrots. So that's nice. So I have a little bit of onion. Just some panties. I'm going to pick these up. A lot of onion, actually. Let's face it. Okay. Swing onion one, whole one, and some leaves. Still plenty left, as you can see. Still plenty of lettuce left, as you can see. And yeah, I've got um, this down here with the lettuce. What a lovely harvest, what do you think? Yummy, very yummy. And I hope that your garden's going well. And I know that you guys overseas are getting into autumn, so I hope you're planting your autumn crops or sorting your garden out to rest it or to put a cover crop on it and i hope you're having looking i hope you're looking forward to some some stews and soups and things we're looking forward to some beautiful beautiful spring weather like today look at that sky blue 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 blue, blue, blue. beautiful beautiful australian sky all right so i'll see you next time um i'll probably make a video when i see those seedlings starting to come up okay and oh also 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 let's not forget i've got this last garden bed here and i'll be putting that around the side like i said before so boyfriend's bought me a new trolley i'll show you the um old one I'm just sniffing <laughs> uh, i'll show you the old one you can see it right around here that blue and white trolley's rusted and I shot on it when I was going to pipe off the glass and yeah, it broke it. It's probably on the video earlier on the video. Sweet basil seedlings, trying those old seeds in there. I said, see you later, girl. He said, see ya. I've got my lovely garlic, which is growing great, which is going great to guns. <laughs> the um, Swiss chard, the little spinach, is going great. And as we know, there's snow peas are going fantastic and i'm really happy i've got these in i mean i heard someone else saying they're just about to plant snow peas and i'm really glad i got these in because like i said i bought them as like about this big as punnets as a punnet of seeds over at big w it cost me four bucks and yeah see there's the little label and look at them now they're they're, they're ready to be eaten so we'll see how the rest of the crops go I don't know about the winter crops, whether they're going to come good soon or whether they're past their time, but we'll see. But I'm really happy about the snow peas. Well, thank you so much for joining me on my latest garden update. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below if you'd like to tell me about what your dreams are for this season in your garden. And as usual, I'll get Herbie to sign off and I'll bring you another video up after the rain has gone and we'll see how well my garden has sprung up thanks so much for watching you have a great day all right thanks everyone for watching see you herbie he said see ya thanks everybody see you next time bye